the premiere is right around the corner. How are you guys feeling right now? I'm so excited. Like, it's so fun. This movie is so much fun. And I'm so excited for like everyone to see it. Karen, I want to start with you. So you are the director. How did your vision really come to life? It's hard to say because in this case, you're blending your own vision with like basically the old, the franchise that it is. So you're paying homage to what it is. So you're not trying to like go full on. The way I looked at it was um, the beginning and the end are the bookmarks to what Bring It On is. And that middle part was sort of where I could play a little bit. So it was like that. And I think what I told um, my executives was essentially, we're going to start Bring It On, we'll go somewhere darker, and then I'll present you back with Bring It On at the end. So that was okay. the, that was the journey. So it feels like you had somewhat of creative freedom. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely, uh, the only stipulations that I had were the fact that we did have to be PG-13. So, you know, as a horror director, how much blood can you really put into it or how much gore? So it would basically push me as far as being more creative rather than saying like, I can just, you know, add a, add something really gory at this point, you, you can't do that. So it was staying within that, but really they gave me so much freedom as far as like, apart from, again, the beginning <laughs> to the end sort of thing. Yeah. It was, uh, yeah, they, they gave me pretty carte blanche. That brings me to you, Carrie. How did it feel to kind of land this starring role? It's so exciting. Yeah. Um, kind of like the, kind of the first project where I was like in the, the starring role kind of right. um, aspect of it. And it was a huge opportunity because it's Bring It On and that's such okay. a franchise and it's iconic in itself. But I also feel it's iconic in a horror sense because I love horror and I always am like, that's kind of what I want to do. And the fact that this landed in my lap, I was like, thank you universe. Um, <laughs> but yeah. See, I'm such a strong believer in everything happens for a reason. I am too. Uh, yeah, that's my motto. So now my burning question for you is, did you have any cheer experience before going into this role? Well, by my laugh, um, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I didn't know anything about cheer. And um, Tony Gonzalez, our choreographer for all of our routines, mm -hmm. he ended up calling me and he was like, hey, um, I was like, I don't know, cheer. And he was like, give me three weeks and I will have you looking like a real cheerleader. And I got to say, we went in with those rehearsals from like way early in the morning all the way to the night. And we just kept rehearsing and it became like, I felt like a cheerleader and I have a mad respect for cheerleaders because of the physical, just the physical strength and the, your body has to do all of these things that I had no idea. Yeah. So do you feel like this role challenged you in any way? Absolutely. Um, I always say that. Um, I always say with my roles, like I always want something that ch challenges me and I always, kind of put that in the universe of like, please give me something that challenges me so I can just strengthen something new. Uh, I didn't know anything about cheer. And I think the pressure of being like, oh, I want people who do cheer to look and be like, oh, she understands instead of being like, eh. you right. know, um, and I'm very much a, like a perfectionist in my art. So. I was like, okay, all right, challenge. I see you. <laughs> uh, after bring we, on. Uh, yeah, bring it on. Now, cheerleading is such a team sport. You really have to depend on one another to, you know, nail that routine. So, how was it to kind of feed off of everybody's energy, create that squad type feeling? We all clicked instantly. Yeah. I think what was pretty awesome is they would kind of take us in this room and do like warm-ups and exercises and we had to be like team players so we were we were running and learning like routines that weren't even in the film but it was just so that we could get coordinated with each other and be like oh you guys are a team let's work as a team and a lot of us was like one-on-one -on -one with our stunts so we would pair up and then 
go into it. So it was very, yeah, it was very collaborative. And I love to hear that. Mm-hmm.